Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got some ideas for how to mod our Tinker Bugs. So let's get crack. Friends, if you have not built your rug yet, there will be a link in the cards above so you can click it and get at that lesson. All right, friends, so the first thing I always want to remind you is when you get into Tinkercad and you're going to mod something, click Duplicate. That way you never mess up your original. You can always go back and you can start fresh from the one that you were playing with. All right, friends, so the first mod I did was I added more words to the bottom of mine. So if you look under here, now mine says HL Mod Tech. Now, this wasn't a tricky mod. This was just three chunks of text and the same trick. Well, the other thing I want to do is I want to add horns or ears to my bug. Now, I do need to lay my bug back down the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to put it back flat like this. And you need to make sure it is flat on the ground. There's my D for drop. Now, when I print these, I want to make sure there are slopes. Otherwise, the plastic will drip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build with the cone. When I bring this cone out, I want to look at it from a corner and I want to rotate it 90 degrees. And then to make it look more like an ear or a horn, I'm going to make it skinny in this direction. And I'm going to make it skinny in this direction. I'm going to make it a lot shorter so that it prints pretty fast. And when I've got the exact shape that I think is cool, you'll see that this is going to be connected in here. And then as it builds out, it should make that peak pretty darn nifty. I'm going to put one right here. Nudge it a little bit forward. Make sure it's connected. So I'm just using these arrow keys to push it in. If I do control up, it goes up. And then if I do control D, I can make another one. And once again, I'm going to do control up. And just like that, we've added silly little spikes to my awesome little bug. If I do shift select, those two shapes are selected. And now since they're a pair, if I do a line and I make the bug the master, I can put them exactly in the middle. And then once again, because of this slope, they should print pretty decent. If you wanted to cut in nostrils, let's do the same type trick with a whole cylinder. Once again, I'm gonna bring it out and make it tiny so it's nostril size. And then I'm gonna use fit view so we can see it close. And then if I look at it from a corner, so it's like I hit this right here. I find this rotation handle. Remember, if you come out here, it goes one degree at a time. If you stay close, you can go 22 and a half degrees at a time and find that 90. So then we need to figure out where our nostrils are gonna be. I'm gonna just drag mine over here. I'm gonna lift it up. I want two of them, so I'm gonna do Control D, Control up arrow. Once again, I'm going to hold down shift and click on both of them and make them a pair. When I do that, I can select them, choose a line, make the bug the master, and when I choose middle, they are aligned. Now I can cut them straight in. I can also look at it from an angle, and I can pick a custom amount of degrees. I'm going to use fit view so I can get closer. And now I can grab them to get the angle that I think is cool. I'm going to put the work plane to the ground, and let's group them just like that. And boom, my little bug has got silly nostrils. Real quickly, I'm going to grab all of this and group it because I had not grouped the horns yet. It may turn to one color. If it does, I'll switch back to the multicolor because I do think it looks cooler with all those colors. So my trick for adding a name to the back, to the round part, is to rotate it and then use D to drop. So we've got it flat. And then I want to put the letters on planes here. Well, watch this. Work plane, click the flat side of the face, bring out a cylinder, and stick it on the face. I want you to change the number of sides to 16 and press enter. And then we want to make it size 46 so it matches what we built with. So I'm going to just type 46 and press enter. If I bring this down, so I'm just using the arrow keys, you'll notice that it eventually matches our bug's original shape. And this gives us flat sides that are close, and we're going to stick them inside there. So then, my friends, if we push this through, so I'm just grabbing the cone and pushing it through, now I can set letters up on these work planes. So if I click right here, and I'm going to go down to text, and I'm going to add an H. 
there's my capital H. I'm gonna fit view, look at it from a corner, hold down shift and shrink it so it fits that bug's back. Move it into place. So see how this fits right on that row. If I make it a hole, so now that I've got the H in place, the trick is to switch to the next plane. Once again, when you get it labeled, bring out your text, and I am just gonna put the word hi. You could put your name, you can put anything you want. Just make it a hole, hold down shift, shrink it so that letter fits, and you'll find that each letter is different. And boom, when you've got all your letters in place, you can delete that part we were using for where we set things. So I'm just gonna hit delete on the keyboard. And now, work plane back on the ground. I'm gonna align these parts so that I'm sure they're in the middle. So now they look super awesome. Hit group and check it out. You have got letters cut into the back of your bug. Now remember before you 3D print, this always needs to be laying flat. Get it so the 90 is right and then hit D to drop so that it's on the board. And then once you've got that done, friends, remember in my classroom, we always export as an STL and we put it up in the STL folder. Make sure you name it. So instead of copy of bug four, I'm gonna put bug four with ears. And if you've got a color you're dreaming of, like I'm gonna put blue, I will try and get you the color, but I can't guarantee it. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. A few fun ways you can modify your bug. Friends, I have only scratched the surface. If you keep playing with this and make something awesome. Friends, if you do wanna share something with me, you can always track me down on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech. I am also HL Tinkercad on Twitter. You can also visit the hlmodtech.com website. Friends, if you are on the hlmodtech.com website, you can click the messaging and you can reach out to me almost instantly. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.